If you guys are looking to buy some of the cheapest tradable Rocket League items, then head to the first link in the description and use code JAKERS at checkout for a discount. What's going on guys? I am JAKERS and welcome back to another episode of My Best Trades of the Week. A series where together we look at some of my best trades that I've done during the week. And unfortunately last week I didn't manage to make an episode because all the new uh, overdrive crates were coming out. And so I had to buy a ton of those and open up a few of those. And so that's why you saw 30 crates being opened on my channel, which was awesome to do. In episode one and two of this series, which you can find in the description of today's video, I made a ton of profit and you guys probably saw that already. We made over about 60 keys profit in the first episode and then way over 100 keys in the second episode. So if you guys wanna check those out, then make sure to do so. So in today's episode, hopefully you guys will learn some tips of what's good to trade and what's maybe not good to trade and how you guys can buy and sell items to make a ton of profit on Rocket League. We literally have a ton of trades to look at today, so it'd be awesome for me and I honestly enjoyed making this much profit and then showing it to you guys. And if you guys see anything in my inventory in today's video that you guys wanna trade for, then make sure to leave your offers down in the comment section down below and I'll have a look at all of those and maybe you might be featured in episode 4 of my best trades of the week. So without further ado I think it's time to take a look at these trades they were so so awesome to do and literally I can't wait to show you guys so let's get straight into today's trades. We are kicking off today's episode with an absolute bang because this trade right here my first trade of today's episode is for a hellfire mystery goal explosion or you guys could call it a black market but this guy was selling it really really cheaply. I found this trade on I think either discord or the Rocket League trading garage. Now at the time this gold explosion was worth about 30 keys but now it's worth about 25 and it's slowly going down. I don't know why but it's the best mystery gold explosion out there. He was selling it really cheap. I put up 20 pure keys and the guy said that he wanted an animus so I put up 16 keys and an animus instead and he accepted which was a really good trade for me. I made a ton of profit and in the next trade you'll see me trade this on for even more. 16 keys plus an animus which is worth about 2 to 3 so this is about an 18 key offer for a gold explosion worth 25 keys and at the time it was worth, worth 30 and so I made a really good deal on this. So this is an easy 7 to 10 keys profit and it looks awesome having two hellfires in my inventory. So I went and took this hellfire and got a really awesome deal for it. I now had two in my inventory and so I didn't need the second one because you can only apply one at a time and so it was sort of useless in my inventory. I needed the keys to like open crates and buy some imports to do trade ups and so I sold it for 25 keys which is an awesome 8 keys profit. However hellfire is slowly going down in price so it's probably not a good buy to buy it right now. If you're looking to just use it as a gold explosion then you're better off just buying it when it drops in value. Now at the time of recording this trade, which was for the white Centio, I was actually going for the Centio set. And as you guys can see in my inventory, I had about five to six of these Centios. And right now I have about nine of them. But at the time I was actually going for the set. And so the Llama Sir beat me to this and done a video on them. He didn't actually have all of them in his inventory, but he did showcase all of them. And so I didn't want to be second to do that. And so I just decided to sell them on. But buying this white Centio, which actually looks really nice as a car, I managed to pick it up for a heat wave and two of the normal import cards which are worth two to three now they're dropping so quickly in value heat wave is an item which isn't really dropping too much in value it's been at about 10 to 11 keys for quite a long time and seeing as the crates have been removed it will probably slowly go up maybe or stay put but my first offer of four normal import cars two of each was not the deal he wanted and so i put up one of each import car and animus and a sentio so that's four keys and then a heat wave which makes it about 14 keys the sentios are slowly going down in value but at the time this was a really good deal However, White Centio is still worth about 25 keys. So this trade here is one for my Striker Certified Parallax. This guy was interested in my Parallax. It's probably one of the best mysteries that I put up in this trade offer uh, compared to the Biomass and the Labyrinth. I said to him that it was Cert Striker and he was willing to give me a good deal for it. The normal Parallax is worth about 4 to 5 keys, but it's not really the favourite mystery decal out of all of them compared to like Heatwave and all the other ones. And I know that 20XX and Bubbly are also worth more than it. And so it's not really selling too well at the moment. It would be hard to get about four keys for the normal parallax and probably you'll be good to get about three pure keys for it. But items, I literally got a really good deal for this striker certification. Striker is the best cert and so it's so weird because certified prices have been removed off rocket prices and so it is quite difficult to know how much it's worth. This guy put up some saffron zombas. These are worth six to eight which puts them at about seven keys. The zombas are slowly going up. 
in value just like the white zombies which you will see me trade for later on in today's video but with an ad of a normal mantis which sells for about a key if you can find the right guy that wants a mantis as just a car to use and then also kalos which i think was certified scorer those are about half a key nitro crates which are worth about a quarter of a key each so that's Adding all together, that's about a key for all four of those. So that there is about a solid 9.5 to 10 key offer for a striker parallax. So I think this is a really good deal and I've done well with this trade. I know that I could probably go and take these items and get about 10 keys worth of items for them or about nine pure keys for them. So this is a really good deal. And I think at the time, striker parallax worth eight keys. So this was a really good overpay. So here is an example of a trade which is really awesome that I get invites from you guys because it, it gives me loads of trading opportunities and so I didn't have to use Discord or any sort of trading website like the PlayStation communities to find this trade. It was actually an invite from a subscriber. This guy really wanted an Animus so he offered me free pure keys for it and in my opinion this is a really good deal and so I couldn't say no to it so I accepted the offer. I've got three pure keys which I can probably go on and get a bit of an overpay for since people do overpay for keys and as I said in the last two episodes keys are a really good thing to trade for since people overpay for them so the next trade that i did was for a pair of fidget spinners these were just normal fidget spinners i know you guys can see the lime fidget spinners in my inventory and i also got a pair of purple not so long ago from a trader normal kalos are about half a key the wildcat ears are about one to two so that's 1.5 that's two keys already and with the uncommons and the crates that's another half key so that's 2.5 keys for my fidget spinner wheels which sell for about 0.75 to one key i don't recommend buying fidget spinner wheels or turbines at all their painted versions don't really sell too well and they're not worth much at all along with the lobos and, and the photons these are probably some of the worst selling exotic wheels in rocket league as I was saying previously in today's video, people will overpay for keys and here's an example of it. These sky blue A arrays that this guy was offering me are actually certified sweeper which prices them at their higher value of 3 keys. This guy here only wanted one pure key for it and I was willing to pay that even though I know that A arrays don't sell too well and these are not really the best colour to buy. But I know that I'll definitely be able to get two pure keys for them or 2.5 to 3 keys in item value for them. Best way to do this is to find someone in Rocket League Garage who's really looking for these wheels or someone that's maybe collecting a set of ARAs and these are one of the wheels that they need to complete it. So one pure key was a really good pickup for this item in my opinion and I'll definitely be able to get loads of profit from this. Maybe in episode 4 I'll show you guys what I managed to get from these wheels. This trade that you guys are seeing right now is one for a black painted Helio. Helios trails are rising so much in price right now. The white Helios that I had before is now worth about 60 keys which is insane. I'm actually trying to buy back the white Helios for my most expensive car series. So if you guys have that then make sure to let me know and I'll buy it off you. This was an item offer of about 8 keys in value for an item worth 12 to 6 so this is an instant about 6 keys profit on this trade. And these items don't really sell too well that I offered him. Now this is a trade for the most expensive white painted import car on Rocket League which is the white Animus. This is similarly priced to the white Sentio at about 25 keys. Dracos and fidget spinners aren't really selling too well they're dropping in value quite a lot recently the dracos are worth about 14 keys and the fidget spin is about four so this is an 18 key offer for an item worth 25 keys that is a profit of about seven keys although the animus is slowly dropping in value as well i will sell this quickly and you'll probably see me selling this in episode four of the best trades of the week it's very popular and i'll know i'll definitely be able to sell this for full value this trade was with a guy who was collecting painted alchemist wheels and so I managed to get a lot of profit out of this guy. This guy offered me two uncommon painted wheels. Although these are not as popular as the alchemist wheels, they do sell quite well. If I find anyone collecting a set of these other uncommon items, then I might get some more overpays for those and make more and more profit from them. The items in this trade, the pink painted endo and the black roulettes are both worth the same value, both four to five, but this guy added three pure keys and so this was an offer I couldn't take and it was an instant three pure key profit. Here is a trade for my lime painted wildcat ears and I remember a time when these wildcat ears were trending so much loads of people were collecting the set of these but the lime wildcat ears now are less popular and so I found them quite hard to sell so this one pure key offer with an ad of a sky blue unicorn which is about half a key 1.5 key offer for an item worth one key and I probably wouldn't be able to get that one key for the wildcat ears so this is a really good deal for it. Once again I was looking for a mystery decal because my car was looking really boring. Heatwave was a perfect option to match my white painted animus gp and so this purple painted animus which is worth 8 to 10 which is 9 keys is a really good offer for a heat wave which is worth 10 to 11 an instant two keys profit last trade of today's episode is for white painted zomba wheels and these are really hard to pick up nowadays they were worth about 70 pure keys when i did my middleman video which is the last video on my channel the guy paid about 80 pure keys for those 
uh, white zombies in that video but these have risen so much in value lately and so this offer right here so this here is a really cheap deal for white painted zombies and these are really popular at the moment they're also painted and certified I'm not too sure what the cert is on those I'll check those for episode 4 but this is the last trade of today's episode and I hope you guys have enjoyed it there we have it guys there is the end of today's episode of my best trades of the week and if you guys want to be featured in episode 4 and want to trade with me then make sure to leave some offers down below like I said at the start of the video and also if you guys have already made some really good trades already and you guys want them to be featured in episode 5 episode 5 of best trades of the week will be featured as a subscriber special where I will show you guys best trades and talk over them to give some feedback of what you guys should have done uh, to make more profit on trades and also whether they were good or not and I'll rank those from about 1 to 10 or 1 to 15 depending on how many trades I get sent in so make sure to message me on Twitter or any of my social media links which will be down in the description that you guys can find me on to so send me some videos across of your best trades and I might feature them in episode 5. So this is unfortunately the end of today's video but if you guys have enjoyed make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.